Rochelle Dehan is 38 years old, and she lives and works in Hong Kong. Although these days Hong Kong feels like home to her, this isn't home. This isn't where her story began. Her story began over a thousand kilometers away, in the outskirts of Cagayan de Oro, in the Philippines, where she was born. After finishing her schooling, she took up a retail job and married a man. She had two kids, one boy and one girl, and she was getting ready to spend the rest of her life with this man when her trust was betrayed. Her husband had grown unfaithful. He left Rochelle and started another family, leaving her to support her two kids on her own as a single mother. Left with no other option, she was forced to find work that would be able to put both of her kids through school. So when she saw that she had a chance to earn more money by working abroad in Hong Kong as a domestic worker, she took the job. I became a domestic worker because I uh, want to help my family, especially my kids, because my kids is studying and, and I want to support them all the way. So in 2010, she departed from the sleepy hills and the quiet shores of Cagayan de Oro, leaving her children, her friends, and her family behind for a city that was completely foreign to her. When I'm moving from Philippines to Hong Kong, it's so sad because I, I leave my family, especially my children, so it's so hard for a mother like me. At first, Rochelle struggled to adapt to life in the fast-paced city, and she longed to see her kids. But with time, she began to adapt to life in the city. She embraced the pace of Hong Kong, relishing in the freedom she found here, as she was no longer constrained by the expectations of her conservative homeland. She also found comfort by making friends with other migrant Filipino workers and by attending church every Sunday. In her church, she found an insulated and tightly knit community of similar young women who were in her situation, and through religion, she found balance at a time when she was struggling. All of my friends here, it's become my, it's like a very close family circle. Today, she resides in a Cantonese family's home, working for them as a domestic helper. Her living accommodations are comfortable, the hours aren't long, and she's saving up enough money to keep her kids in school. But being away from her children is still a source of pain, and she counts the days until she can see them again. Although she can't be with them, her children are always in her heart, and she works hard, knowing that she's supporting them. Her greatest wish is to see both of her kids graduate from college, and like so many immigrants before her, she hopes that her journey and her struggle will pay off. She knows that if she had to move to Hong Kong so that her kids could have the chance to live a better life than hers, it would have all been worth it. If my kids is here, I would always say I love him, I love them always. I always take care of them.